Well, the holiday season is over and we're heading into a brand new calendar year. But wait, what is a calendar year? Well, that all depends on who and when you ask. Thousands of years ago, humans had little concept of patterns in the passage of time. But as the years passed, the waxing and waning of the moon, the sun rising and setting, and stars shifting with the seasons, well, they began to figure them out. The first calendars were likely based off the moon. With its clear and frequent changes across the sky, it made for a great, albeit flawed, start. In fact, the Ashango bone found in Africa, with tally marks that many believe record lunar cycles, is thought to be over 20,000 years old. Ah, but here's the rub. A lunar month is actually a shorter 29 and a half days. So when you compound that times 12, you come up 11 days short. So the first leap month, not leap year, was invented. It was around 3000 BCE that the Egyptians got fed up and just ditched the moon altogether and began focusing on the sun. They noticed that the Nile River's flooding, which was crucial to farming and their survival, coincided with the rise of the star Sirius. So they created a 365-day solar calendar with 12 months and 30 days, plus five bonus festival days at the end. There was still no leap year though, so once again, the calendar drifted over time. But perhaps one of the weirdest things that I didn't know that's been staring me in the face my entire life is that at one time, the widely used calendar used by the Romans only had 10 months, not 12. Check this out. The Roman calendar originally started with March, named after the Roman god Mars. September, the ninth month of our current calendar, contains the Latin numerical base sept, which means seven, as in septuplets. All because September used to be the seventh month. The same is true for October. Like an octopus has eight legs, oct means eight, but October is the tenth month of our current calendar. And December, the twelfth month of our current calendar year, has the base dec, which means ten. So, December has always been the last month of our year, it just used to be the 10th month, not the 12th. By the time Julius Caesar came along, the calendar was so messed up that politicians would literally bribe priests to add or subtract days in order to manipulate elections. So, Caesar commissioned an astronomer to create what is now called the Julian calendar that had 365 days and a leap year. But it still wasn't quite perfect. It was off by just 11 minutes per year, which doesn't seem like much, but over hundreds, even thousands of years, suddenly it does. By the 16th century, the Julian calendar was off by a 10 full days, which messed with the Catholic Church's celebration of Easter. So Pope Gregory XIII stepped up with a new rule where leap years will be skipped in century years not divisible by 400. And voila, the Gregorian calendar was created, which is the one we use today. And one final fun fact, when the switch happened, little did the people in the Catholic countries know that when they went to bed on October 4th, 1582, they woke up on October 15th. For Central Oregon Daily News, I'm Scott Elmas. Plus 11, minus two, with a couple festival days. <laughs>